So what are we doing today? Yeah, that's right, we're going hiking. I'm actually heading for the peak of a mountain in our county that I've never hiked before. And there's a pretty good sized tract of land that I need to go through to get there. I'm about 10, 15 minutes in and already I've crossed over lots of chunks of broken wall. Just like that, I'm about to cross a river. So that's gonna get me into another section of land. So. so I'm not out scouting for metal detecting sites. I'm just out hiking and enjoying the land. And this is what I like to do more than anything. Go out, hike, read the land, walk through these old farm properties and try to make sense of it all. Who knows, maybe we'll find a cellar hole along the way. Maybe we won't, but we definitely can look forward to the view when we get to the top. But at 53, 54 degrees, it just finished raining this morning. I'm doubting the visibility is gonna be all that great either way. So I just crossed over the river and there was a lot of walls coming down from that side that terminated and already straight ahead, I'm seeing another wall, which is what I figured I would be walking from one old farm to the next. It's, it's just great coming out here and trying to decode things. You know, for instance, this side that we're leaving is lumpy, rocky, crossing over the wall. Well, it's about the same, so. Probably just one pasture abutting the other pasture. Well, that's a thick wall. Holy mackerel. The land actually doesn't look any better, but this trail is terrible look at this yeah people hike through here all the time and it's just mucky and eroded so walking through that square there's several big trees down this line now the trail is taking me across all of them that square though right there that i just came through if i was out looking for a home site right now I would definitely be heading to the end of it because as we go over the wall into this next one, the ground becomes terrible again. It'll be interesting to see where this pops out. All I'm seeing right now is up, but that's where I'm heading, the peak. I just didn't think it would be here so soon. All right, well, Trail heads that way, but look at these trees and up there is different. You can see differentness. -ness. Even just the ferns are telling us something. Wow. There's definitely something over here. I've looped back around. That trail did start to cut up and go back towards that one square that was flat. And this is up the top where I was pointing. It's the only spot out here like this. Oh yeah, look at the, look at the vegetation. Uh, nasty, wet, thorny. But, there it is, a cellar hole. Well, if that didn't just scream out to me. Wow, this is old, and uh, it's terribly overgrown. But you see all these berry bushes? They are only directly around the cellar hole, so that was a huge tip-off right there. So I'm assuming that this section out here, which I just cut off trail to get to, is the old road. 
I love this stuff. It's it's a language on its own. And there are so many things that talk to you. All right, well, time to continue upward. There's a wall. Heading up. So, popping over that wall, I just came over here because of that flat stretch. And as I'm looking around, look in the ground right there. Roofing shingles. Stainless steel from something. I love all these little layers in time. So, somebody had a cabin here. It's definitely not dumpage because this is not accessible. I'm over a mile in going up. Somebody carried this stuff up here to build it. Very interesting. Makes me wonder why they picked this spot. Get back on the trail and keep looking around. Now see, this is what makes us different. We get off the trail, we look around. There's old apple trees in here. As far as I can tell, I'm halfway up the mountain. But what a strange place to have an apple orchard. Maybe that's uh, why that structure was there. Guess I'll stay off the trail for a bit. I mean, not only have I veered off the trail, but back at that home site where I crossed over the old road, I'm probably a quarter mile in, which doesn't sound terribly far, but when you're in this kind of terrain, it definitely is. Yeah, see the ground is like, except for the Diet Pepsi can, is abnormally clean and flat up here. No doubt. So in total, I'm about, oh, it's two of them. Hopefully they're not signaling about something that's trying to eat them. There's a whole bunch of them actually. One's way off. All right, I'm getting back on the trail. So the further I go up, look at this. It's starting to clear out up top, and that's an old orchard. Oh, even just looking closely, these trees have been hedged, trimmed. Interesting because it's just a little strip and then boom, right back into the woods and continuing on to the peak. Yeah, they're all trimmed. That's interesting, with all the exploring we've done, I don't think we've ever come across an old orchard like this so far up a mountain, and there's no other signs of a home site. There's not even any walls up here. But then again, I could just be that close to something home site-wise and completely missing it. Up. Well, we're getting close to the peak. It's just going straight up. Well, almost straight up. So, I'm hiking along, and maybe this has happened to you right now, which would have been weeks ago when you watched this. My phone and watch just went crazy saying presidential alert. Scared the crap out of me. I see presidential alert. I'm like, uh-oh, incoming, right? Then it says, this is a test. No action required, but still. Really? If an ICBM is coming in and I'm out hiking, I'd just be better off not knowing and 
you know, watch it from up here. Look at that. You get all the way to the top, which you can see the horizon at this point. And yeah, there's rock walls up here. Yeah, so that's, that's Mount Monadnock over there, but you can see the whole top half is in the clouds, so whoever chose to go hiking up there today is probably getting moist. Gorgeous. So we're at 1,862 feet. I'm doing a little out in the field research. It says during the 30s and 40s, a substantial part of the northerly portion of this mountain was owned by a cattle and horse dealer. I came up from the westerly side, so uh, northerly would be over there. Well, nothing online, it just says formerly an old apple orchard. I don't know, maybe that was just the best place to grow up here and it has something to do with the horse and cattle rancher or food, so. Well, it is. It's actually 60 degrees. It doesn't feel like it up here, probably because I'm hot and sweaty and there's no sun. And I'm probably going to turn around and go back. The thing is, I want to bounce off the trail again and see what's off of it. Obviously, we found the cellar hole and off from that apple orchard, a small building. So that's neat. And that's what makes doing this more interesting. I love hiking, but Exploring is always awesome. All right, let's go. So as I come down the mountain and I creep back into this apple orchard, I'm gonna go around it. Still, it's odd, it's just, it's just a strip. From what I can see here, it's 60 feet across and that's about the length of my driveway, so 140 feet that way, 150 feet. Some dead animal. See what I'm saying about them pruning these a long time ago? Coming to the other end, there is a wall. Not that that's odd, but it is contained to the orchard. It doesn't keep going that way. Comes down here. So... That's just from clearing this one little spot. So as I come down off the mountain, I'm about at the halfway point and I'm looking at the terrain. It's definitely terrible, but there are walls everywhere containing space. Oh, that sounded big. Hold that thought for a minute. If you could hear it, that mic's pretty directional. And I will quickly scan, looking for a tree to climb. Anyways, as I look at the apple orchards and where they're placed and thinking about the well, cattle ranchers, horse, whatever, I wonder if these were strategically set upon the property for food. They're not ancient, but they're odd. I mean, I really don't know anything about, you know, raising livestock, but I would think in this situation up here, why bring the food to them when you can have it already there? It's not like it's a big flat open 
farm where you could get a cart out there. I don't know. Wow. I think I found my shelter for the night. Check it out. I couldn't help myself. I just, I'm coming down the trail and um, crossing over near where that home site was. This is definitely the old road. It's in terrible condition. Probably loggers have been through here, but I'm gonna veer off course and head up that way a little bit. This is awesome. I'm bushwhacking my way back a bit because the designated trail is just, it needs a rerouting, it's bad. And I love seeing stuff like this off in the distance that somebody probably put there over 200 years ago colonial art and there's a broken wall back there behind it but that was definitely put there a long time ago by humans look at the lichen and moss on it very cool all right well I safely made it back to the vehicle Hope you all enjoyed that. By the way, when I first pulled in, I'm up 25. As soon as I got out of the truck, there it was, quarter. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you've been watching in order, starting tomorrow, for the next month or so, we'll begin the Colorado cruise visit. And it's gonna be awesome, so you're gonna wanna tune in for that. So, till we see you next time, enjoy your not Thursday.